Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use dictionaries in Python. So first of all, what are dictionaries? So dictionaries in Python are like associative lists or a map. Now you can think of dictionary as a list of pairs. So let me show you how to define a dictionary. So you can define any variable name. And to define a dictionary, first of all, you use these curly brackets. And inside these curly brackets, you provide a list of key value pairs. So let's provide the list of key value pairs. So first key is name and the name is max. The second key is, for example, age. And the age of max is, let's say, 14. And we can also write here in which year he was born. So we can uh, just write year and he was born in 2004, for example. And I'm going to press enter here. And once again, I'm going to just access the values inside this dictionary, which is D. And you can see our dictionary is created now. So as I said, dictionary is a list of key value pairs. And all these values which you see here before this colon are called keys. So name is a key here, year is a key here, and age is a key here. And whatever values you see after the colon are called values. So max is a value, 2004 is a value, and 14 is a value and you can access the values from a dictionary based upon their keys. So for example, I have this dictionary D, I can use the square bracket and the key name, for example, I want to get the name value, I can just give the name key here and then press enter and it's going to return me the associated value related to key name. In the same way, you can use other keys also, for example, age, and I'm going to press enter and it's going to give me 14, which is the value. So age is a key here and 14 is the value. Now what type of data types you can store in a dictionary? So as key, you can define any data type. So let me define a new dictionary here and I'm going to give these curly brackets. And as I said, you can define a string value as key also, you can define a number as a key, for example, 15 colon 15. Let's try the float values. So I'm going to just write 15.1 colon 15.1. This is also allowed in dictionary. So you can use string values, you can use uh, integer values, you can use decimal values as key. And also let's try uh, the Boolean values. So you can use the boolean values also as keys and you can use a tuple also as a key so i'm going to just give a tuple 2 comma 3 and then i'm going to assign a value of 5 to this key and as values also you can use string values or decimal values or a integer values or a boolean values or any kind of collection you can use as a value so i'm going to press enter here and now to access, let's say we want to access the value for this key, which is this tuple. So I'm going to just uh, enter this tuple inside these square brackets and it's going to return me five. Or I can just provide inside these square bracket true here and then press enter and it's going to return me the value which is associated with it, which is true itself. Or I can uh, just write here 15 and it's going to return me 15 in turn because 15 is associated with this value, which is also 15. Now what happens when a key is not there and we try to access it? So I'm going to just access 100 from this E dictionary. It's going to give us error that this key is not present in the dictionary. You can also use the LEN method to find out the number of items in the dictionary. And you can see it says five items are there in the dictionary E and we can count these items. So this is one item, two item, three item, four item, and the fifth item is here. Or in other words, you can also say that len function is going to return you the number of key value pairs which are stored in our dictionary. You can also use 
for example i'm going to use my d dictionary now and you can also use a method called get and then you can uh, give the key name here in the parenthesis so let's say i want to get the value associated with the name key i can uh, get it like this and it's going to give me the value associated with the name key you can also add a new key so this d dictionary you can see there are right now three key value pairs and i can add one more key value pair so to add a key value pair you need to just write d and in the square bracket you just need to give the name of the new key so i'm going to just write uh, surname here which is the name of the new key in the dictionary d and then you need to give the value associated with that key so when i press enter and once again when i try to access the values inside the dictionary now you can see that surname is added to your dictionary now if you want to remove any key value pair from a list then you can use the dot pop method and then the name of the key which you want to remove let's say we want to remove the surname once again which we have added and you can just press enter and now you can just print the values inside d now you can see the surname key value pair is removed you can also use a clear function so let's see what's there in the e dictionary so these are the values inside e dictionary i can use e dot clear to clear the values inside the e dictionary so once again when i try to access e it will give me the empty dictionary also you can delete the dictionary using del function and the name of the dictionary and when i press enter and when i try to access this dictionary e once again it's going to say that this name is not defined you can also update the values in a dictionary so this is my dictionary and i want to update the name for example so i can use the dictionary name and then the key here for example name and the new name i want to associate with this key is let's say a new name here and when i try to access this uh, dictionary once again you can see the name is changed you can also use a method called update to update this key value pair so once again i want to change the key value pair which is name so i can give this curly bracket and then give the key value pair which i want to change so name and the new name will be max once again and once again when i try to access the dictionary it will give me this dictionary and you can see the name is updated now now there is a function in dictionary called keys which is used to list out all the keys of that dictionary so you can see it will list out all the keys of the particular dictionary there is also a function called values which will list out all the values of that dictionary if you want to list out all the key value pairs you can use the function called items here and it will give you the key value pair list now the last function i want to show here is let me list out the content of uh, the dictionary first of all so there is one more function which you can use here is which is pop item and you don't need to give any argument with this pop item when you press enter it's going to remove the last key value pair which you have added or updated so here we have updated this name key value pair that's why this is removed and now when you try to uh, see the content of the dictionary this name key value pair is removed so this is how you can use dictionaries in python i hope you have enjoyed this video i will see you in the next video